Respected Chairman, thank you, sir, for the opportunity. I rise to support the motion of thanks to our President Draupadi Murji. It's customary, sir, for the President to address both the houses to outline the remarkable achievements of our nation under our government. We should all be proud of this. And it is this tradition that the Parliament upholds. And yes, there are shortcomings, there are scope for improvements, but that can always wait for debate and discussion later. Let us keep this rich tradition alive, sir. Let us use this opportunity in a dignified way and let our Parliament be known for its discussions, not its disruptions. Sir, under the leadership of our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, India emerged as the fastest growing major economy. From 10th place, we moved on to 5th and well on our way to 3rd. But sir, these are numbers for elite economists and maybe us politicians. How does these numbers make a difference to our poor, our rural folks, our farmers, our industry, our small businessmen, our health care and our education, sir? I thank the President for elec eloquently elaborating these. Sir, I would like to start with the small things our government did, sir. Sir, the 12,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees bathroom, sir. The Swachh Bharat. Leaders come and go. Prime ministers, chief ministers, ministers, governments come and go. And they boast themselves, they did this project, they did, they built that dam. But it's the small thing, sir. Sir, people build infrastructure, but great people change societies and how societies behave. Ten years ago, India meant open defecation. Foreigners come, we have to look down in shame. Sir. Irozu Manamu Oka Samajamla Marputachanena Oka Bakgopa Vektante Mana Pradhan Mantri Modi Garu. You know, infrastructure project Chesaru Kani Ina Gauravam Menchindu, Atma Gauram Menchindu, Nisangane. Mana Telugu Bashan Gud Marchindu. In Tang Mundu, Yavarana, Gain Ekadu in Dianta, Baiti Quain Dantamu, Kanipudu, Ipudu, Ain Ekadu in Dianta, Bathroom Matter. Sir, the word bathroom has now become a Telugu word, sir. They proudly say, I Nenu Bathroom Vainani. Sir, he increased the self worth, the self dignity, and of the poor children. Not because they don't know, because they did not have access to bathrooms, sir. And this, I'm very proud of, sir, that our government achieved this. Where last 60 years, we had to, we had to bow down our heads in shame that such an advanced country, we still had open defecation. Almost in our state, sir, it's almost 90% open defecation free. Regarding our farmers, sir, just in my state, Telangana, 29 lakh farmers get 6,000 rupees under Kisan Sanman Nidhi, sir. MNRIG scheme, sir. Of course, it is started by the previous UPA government, and we are happy. They did some good things too, but we continued it, sir. What was happening under MNRIG scheme? Ten years ago, rupees 150 rupees per day for the labor, sir. Now, they talk about petrol price increase, but look at the MNREG increase, 100% increase is 300 rupees today, sir. But it's not just the 300 rupees, sir. Before that 150 rupees, they had to pay 50 rupees rishwat and get 90 or 100 rupees. Now every penny of the 300 rupees is going into the account, sir. Raitulaku, fertilizer subsidy, sir. Tombai shatamu. Kevalamu rondu vandala debai rupalu petale urea bastako lekunde DAP bastako. Today, not only these crops are growing, it's because of the, especially in Telangana, we don't have canals, sir. It is because of the current being supplied to the pubs, sir. Today, India has become almost self sufficient. Gone are the days of power cuts. With power sector reforms, operational efficiency, plant load factors of even NTPC and government 
increasing beyond 90 percent, sir. It has increased beyond European and American plant load factors, sir. And because of this, we, our farmers are getting electricity to pump the water, sir. The banking sector, sir, it, in 2014, it was bankrupt. It was in doldrums. Strict discipline, recognizing unrecoverable loans as unrecoverable loans and not hiding them under NPAs like the previous government did, calling spade a spade and willful defaulters, willful defaulters. And you've seen the people who have took loans from the previous government and now fled the country, sir. And this, again, is false propaganda against us. You have written off loans. We have not written off loans, sir. These are unrepayable, unrecoverable loans given by the previous government. We had the courage to say these are unrecoverable and wrote off. And because of this and other reforms, the banking sector turned around, sir. We, today, the banks, especially the public sector banks, the State Bank of India profits is bigger than the Reliance Industries profit today, sir, something that was unimaginable. But what are they doing with this money, sir? They are doing it responsibly. Responsibly, they are giving it to those who need it. Whether it's a big industry or the Mudra loans or the Vishwakarma Yojana loans. And these, somebody today said, sir, the gentleman is not here from the opposition. He was telling Vishwakarma Yojana, he was associating with Hindu religion and caste. A Raja. A Raja. He was telling, he was associating Vishwakarma Yojana to Hindu religion and caste. Sir, I think the honorable member is not aware or not well read on this. Even a Muslim, even a Christian can become a carpenter. And tomorrow his son can become a goldsmith or anybody who works with his hands, sir. And that is the greatness of this Vishwakarma Yojana, sir. Sir, it's not just the PSU bank, sir. So, 10 years ago, if someone wanted to make money in the stock market, they would have invested in Wipro, Infosys, and uh, TCS. Today, sir, the share market, the PSU banks, not only the PSU banks, the State Bank of India, but also the PSU company, NALCO, BHEL, Oil India, ONGC, HP. These are all outperformed, all the IT companies, sir, and they have increased 300 folds. Sir, regarding Northeast, sir, everyone was raising the point. Sir, today I'm proud to say, sir, Northeast is connected. Hardly we used to see any gent anyone from Northeast in Hyderabad or Delhi or Bombay. There are more than 10,000 youth from Northeast, sir from all communities, Nagas, Kukis, Metis, people from Maharashtra, uh, from Mizoram and Meghalaya. We see them in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Delhi, sir. And they are all Indians, sir. They are connected. They work in India, sir. Otherwise, Northeast was isolated. Today, what never happened in 60 years, whether it's the roads or the bridges or the highways, it happened under this government, sir, the airports. And the Talk is about recent, not the development, but as a recent violence, sir, in Northeast. Manipur in particular, the ethnic violence is very painful to all of us, sir. More than 200 died, but who is the root cause of this, sir? Has the demographic not been changed, sir? Recent elections, you see the polled votes or the registered voters. In some ethnic groups, they have increased by 50 percent in just one term, sir, in five years. Many groups, they increase 75 percent. How did this happen, sir? When is a voter is 18, did 18 years ago this ethnic group decided to increase their fertility rate suddenly? No, sir. We did not have a border in 60 years, sir. There's imports, there's insurgencies, and they are crossing the borders. That's the only way possible that the Electoral rolls would have increased by 50 percent or 75 percent, sir. And yes, at a time like this, the nation has to come together and not do petty politics. It is unfortunately, sir, the leader of the opposition has gone there. They have accused us. They said none of the prime minister has not gone. They have forgotten, sir. In Northeast, there were riots. There was a blockade. 
the Indian Army or Indian Air Force was ordered to bomb and strafe, and 2,000 people died, sir. We heard about Operation Blue Star in Punjab, but this was much before another Operation Blue Star in, in Mizoram, sir. Who did it happen, sir? Shame. Shame. Did they forget, sir, the fake encounter deaths, almost 2,000? Did they forget the longest hunger strike by Irom Sharmila, sir? And Manipur, according to them, probably had golden days, sir. I think they are referring to the golden triangle of opium trade, and they are thinking that is the golden days of Manipur, sir. Really, I think Indians, everybody, whether they are methis or cookies, they are our Indians, sir. They are our people, sir. They are not Chinese, sir. One of the overseas leaders said, Northeast people are like Chinese, and they said, our South Indian people are like Africans. So to us, all of us are Indians, sir. All of us are Indians, sir. You don't look like African, sir. You look like my brother, South Indian brother, sir. So, so Indian cookies are Indian cookies, sir, not the insurgent. But they want to use them as brownie points, sir. Sir, recently we went through elections, sir. One of the largest elections in any democratic country, lacks of polling booths and EVM. And if one or five or ten polling booths, there was booth capture or the EVM malfunction, do you think, what do we do, sir? We have re-elections there. We don't call the whole elections farce and say we'll have an entire Lok Sabha re-elections for the entire country. Sir, I'm talking about need, sir. They want to they discuss need. Sir, need is not a systemic yes. failure, sir. In some of the centers, four or five centers, Kindly there conclude. was... So Kindly it's conclude, only please. in the four or five centers that we need to re-examine. And the Supreme Court is re-examining this, sir. But they, on the other hand, instead of supporting the process which is being conducted by the courts, the high courts and the Supreme Court, they are actually adding confusion Kindly and conclude, playing with please. the lives of the people, sir. Just five minutes, sir. And the Supreme Court, or the, uh, the, uh, the co high court ordered the counseling should go on. And, uh, but what are they doing, sir? We have seen this Anushri Patel, uh, Ayushri Patel, a fraudster who supposedly invented the COVID vaccine, she complained, saying that my o OMR, OMR sheets are torn, and they went to court. And what did the court find? They repro NTA reproduced the OMR courts, and for that, one of the Congress leaders from the Congress first family supported that lady. Now it is proven in court, and this fraud is proven, sir. They are only, they, they are only adding file to fewer. And uh, you are supporting that. You are supporting that Anushri fraudster. We are supporting the Supreme Court and the High Court. We go by the High Courts and Supreme Courts. That is what. Listen to what the Allahabad High Court said in both these cases and see the counseling is alive. So, so I, I do not. Apparently, have much time, sir. But uh, but respected chair, chairman, one of the things we talked about, everyone almost dwelled on the subject of spirituality, faith, and religion, sir. So one thing we should all agree, sir, regardless of whichever faith we are, we should not tolerate intolerance. We should not encourage those faiths which does not respect other faiths. We should not encourage those discussions which say he is a kafir, so he should not be respected. We should not respect and encourage those people, he is a pagan, so he should not be respected. So respect and take respect, sir. And lastly, I have so much more to say, but I'll, I'll leave and conclude. But my last words again, sir, is let us be known as a parliament which is known for its discussions and not for its deceptions. Thank you, sir. Shri DM.